and you mentioned that um, you <coughs> took it upon yourself to get this education in human sexuality. And I recognize, and you and I have discussed, that few people who have studied for the clergy take courses in human sexuality. Where did you do your education and and what really, I mean, you kind of talked about what prompted you, but maybe just talk about what the education was like for, for yourself. Well, as a young person, I really like you know, to learn about sex. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so I started reading books about sex. <laughs> I was interested. I thought and I think sex is beautiful. Yes. Uh, not for the sake of only having children. You know, unfortunately, many people take just the line of children as the importance of sex. But sex means also companionship. So when I, I had the opportunity of going back to finish I had done some research. It is very interesting because I was a bishop when I went back to Yale and Hartford Seminary mm. in, the 19, in the early 1980s. I had a, a sabbatical leave for about two years to finish my research. That's when I took on this small study and completed my studies in this. But as we've been saying, Many people have not had a chance of really studying uh, deeply human sexuality in our seminaries. When I was at in a seminary, my first degrees, we didn't go into all this. We did it. We learned about marriage in general, but uh, the stress was just uh, heterosexuality. I think. Nobody ever really talked about LGBT people. So this is something which many people don't know about. And that's why I've been saying over and over again that in our seminaries, let, let me go to seminaries, we should have a required course in uh, human sexuality and marriage. Yes, yes. Uh, and 